Previously on Samantha's Bridal, we have covered weddings of couples who have been married for years, yet feel the need to legalize their marriage through the church. Traditional marriage is potential, potentially polygamous. You can even many wives can come and claim the property. While most dream of the glam and grandeur of the white wedding, others solemnize their vows in line with religious beliefs. If you are an old person, it's not good to just say because I'm old. That's okay. You also need as you age to get security, to get God's blessings, and also to get into full membership of the church. Herein come the couples who have been barred from fully participating in religious duties as the church does not recognize their institution. People in this area can only afford the basic necessities, that is food, shelter, and clothing. Anything extra will be secondary. Such is the predicament that Reverend John Calvin Kamau presented when he requested for an appointment with the director of Samantha's Bridal Show. One day when I was sleeping, I just thought, uh, now that I want people to do weddings here, and I've seen these people uh, bring weddings on TV, can I ask them whether they can assist us in soliciting some support? So it's just, I prayed about it and I felt convinced. Then I called Samantha, and they told me, come and let us discuss. And I went and discussed with them, and very positively, I, I, I couldn't believe it. Yeah, they are. As he explains, being a relatively low economic area, residents have resulted to come we stay marriages and traditional arrangements, thus the unions lack security and legal recognition. We want to encourage them by supporting them. See what can we can, can, can be availed to Samantha, either uh, gowns, food, cake, the things that they see with the uh, affluent people. It is upon this proposal that Samantha's Bridal has decided to share the reverence burden and sponsor weddings in the Yatta constituency as part of the company's corporate social responsibility, as in the case of the mass wedding. five wards of Yatta constituency, Ndalani, is the Presbyterian Church of East Africa, Ndalani Church. This is one of the several churches under the Reverend John Calvin Kamau, who is the parish minister, Yatta, Nendeni area. Among the challenges he has been facing is an overloaded work schedule in the churches. But above all, and most disturbing to him, is the godly blessing associated with a church wedding and the privilege of full participation in religious activities. The impact of this mass wedding to the people in PCA, Yata and Nenieri is because we are going to have 10 men join the church officially as full members. Because apart from them getting married, we are taking them through catechism classes to become full members. With most of his congregants being on minimal income, weddings here are seen as a non-affordable luxury. We want to do this mass wedding for the community impact. The fact, uh, because of the fact that there is an understanding that weddings are for rich people, people who are, who are able to get loans, people who can be sponsored because of the expenditure and the cost. It's with this conviction that Samantha's Bridal has stepped in to help Reverend Kamau realize his desire of wedding members of his church in holy matrimony. The greatest contribution is learning the wedding itself. Number two, getting us people who can come on board and support us with what we need, the gowns, because they are the key people who are, are, are getting us, networking us with people who can assist us here in Mukamba. Yata constituency is one of the six constituencies forming the Machakos County. The area boasts of, among other sites, the Masinga Dam Resort commissioned by the Ministry of Tourism as a water sports tourist attraction. Apart from serving as a tourist site, the scenic Masinga Dam is the main reservoir in a cascade of hydropower generating dams with a capacity of 1.56 cubic meters running power generating turbines that supply the vast Nairobi and Mount Kenya area. The area also boasts of a vineyard run by the Kenya Wine Agencies located in the Yatta Plateau. It's in this vineyard that some of the community members earn their daily bread. In the neighboring district, the spectacular 14 Falls on River Athi, a major attraction for both local and international tourists, 
forms another source of income for the constituents. For the rest of the constituents, agriculture and livestock keeping is the main economic activity. However, with the area laying in the semi-arid and arid zone, agriculture is minimal, and especially for areas further from the Yatta furrow that serves water to irrigate the farms. The only permanent river here is River Thika. A lot of people use this river for, for irrigation, they use pumps, and this is not a season river. Always moves, so although sometimes it's quite low, sometimes it's quite high, like it was high the other day when there were rains. And although this is the livelihood for most, the residents are yet to get a bridge built across it, yet the only well equipped government dispensary is located on the opposite ridge. The gong on the makeshift bell marks the start of our risky journey across the river. <music> David, the rider, tells us that this canoe has been in operation for 15 years. He took over the job from his father. And with a steel wire serving as his anchor, the wooden canoe soon makes dock on the other edge of the massive thicker river. Seated on the banks of the massive river, the women weave the sisal baskets and make traditional calabashes. It's their way of contributing to the meager family income. Somewhere in between the villages, we visit the Great Vision Children's Centre an orphanage run by an old couple, Mr. and Mrs. Kariuki. Inashulikia watoto hawa ni wale wa mayatima. Watoto wengi watuko na wao hapa ni wale wa meifiwa na wazazi wao. Na kuna washana wengine wa meolewa na watu fulani wale wapana taka watoto. Akiwa na mtoto, anawashiwa nyanya yake badara ya kweta na mama yake. Watoto hawa tuko na wao hapa, pamoja na wao. Though he admits it has not been easy, especially with the numbers of the needy cases rising by the day, the Kamaos have never wavered, keeping faith in the good act of divine provision. After the heart-rending tour of the area, Samantha's bridal team presents Reverend Kamal's predicament to various suppliers in the wedding business. Our request for their support in this noble initiative is received wholeheartedly. From the rings to the flowers and the catering, most suppliers that we have approached have embraced the idea to support 10 couples identified by Reverend Kamal to legalize their unions in the church. The Kenya Wines Agency have also found the mass wedding to be a great opportunity to give back to the society. So excited because uh, we have a farm in Yata and hence the name Yata in our grape juice and that's where we grow the grapes that produce the Yata juice. So we felt it's an opportunity for us to give back to the society. The company has a grapevine in the Yata district, hence the product name. Bottled drinking water will be provided by Ketepa Kenya through their brand Maisha Pure Drinking Water, while Mark Kariuki of Platform Events will take the day's catering. I was uh, approached by the Samantha's team and uh, I decided to be part of the uh, formulated a simple menu that uh, compromised of uh, rice, uh, irio, and since they are cambas, we did something close to a modokoi. A beef stew and uh, fruit and some salad. To complete the wedding day delicacies, Golden Brown and Valentine Cake House have also volunteered to donate the cake. And as Irene, the manager, tells us, 
it's a humbling experience to be part of the project. We want to work with an African traditional design. Yeah, so we're going to do several items. We're going to do a pot, we're going to do a board, we're going to do color bushes and uh, maybe a hat. Koi Occasions have also stepped in to join outdoor occasions in supplying decor for the big day. So far, through Samantha Bridal, we've been able to get clients to the exhibition. So we felt it was worth us taking part in helping them. Gowns and Roses have also volunteered to dress the brides for the mass wedding. See that weather? I think we're working more of 12, 14, 16. Not it's just that the, 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 their waists, you see if you take a 12, their waists are not... No, that's, yeah, yeah that's size 12, so it's Father Street, so that's why 14, 16 would work. When I was called by Samantha, I felt um, obliged, or I, in fact, I didn't think about it. I felt that it's a noble gesture, even for Samantha to be a part of this, uh, giving back to the community, and I felt that it was worthwhile to back to the community as well. Yeah, yeah. it's not it's it's okay. but that it goes on with it is the same as well. Without traffic yeah. So, so you have such? Yes. Nice. I mean. Okay. Uh, Freddy, you should get married. That's why you like everything. <laughs> yeah, you know? <laughs> yes. I like nice things. We will do the boleros because of the village setting. It will be much comfortable for the, the mamas to wear. The fittings will be proper. We are providing the boleros, the under petticoat, and the veil. Yeah. So hoping that they. They will be beautiful brides like every other person. With most of the couples being advanced in age, comfort is a basic necessity in the gowns design. Gowns and Roses will provide some of the wedding dresses, while Miyachi Designs and True Creations will cater for the rest of the dresses and the tiaras. Yeah. Uh, Samantha Bridal approached me and uh, as we were talking, they mentioned about the mass wedding. And I was compassionate and you know I've dealt with Samantha Bridal for a long time. I've, I've participated in most of their fashion fairs and uh, you know I advertise in their magazine. So when they mentioned I was like, I think I should be part of that. Another volunteer, Annie of Outdoor Occasions, will also be coming in to offer tables, chairs and linen. Every year we try and target um, some course, some worthy course where we can give charity, uh, we can do something for charity as a company, as outdoor occasions. Dennis of Digital Eye will be supplying the meat to be served in the mass wedding. We thought we were going to do the video and photography for the mass wedding, but since someone else had volunteered to do that, we decided to contribute heavily towards the catering budget. While Marion Obura of Majestic Events will be providing the crockery to be used in the 10 couples mass wedding. As long as you contribute in some way, big or small, you definitely want to be a part of it. Lastly, versatile photographers will be making lasting memories of the jubilant event, all free of any charge. Such is the compassion and passion involved in this project. On this occasion, um, we discussed with Jackie and uh, they had the rings, uh, but um, we also offer that, but we will offer this time with the wedding cars. We're giving uh, many couples a start in life, and if you are privileged to do that, and that is an opportunity, I think that's very good. Uh, and you know, you're building family blocks. And with every sponsor on board ready to go, it's time to lay down the work plan. About 10 weeks to the mass wedding, Reverend Kamau is meeting some of the sponsors coming on board. You know they're going to come to they're going to come to church to be uh, to put their makeup and actually to be dressed. Everyone will be dressed in church. So probably we'll just pick up a location where they will be arriving from. The men in our church. They'll be in red jackets, 
and they are, they are the ones doing the, the official security. Mm -hmm. They just make sure that everything is okay and give tags for the vehicles that will be able to come and exit. measurements can will be got today. Kamo is saying within an hour he will be able to give the measurements. Ah, nice. So because so he's just calling all of them and knowing their shoulder and their so waist. When's the morning we can pick them. Yeah so or after no Thursday will be nice. Thursday. So that I organize myself. Another option is actually to measure them because they'll be there on Wednesday, all of them. Just to be sure. Yes. Okay. Like they so they'll be there. We just go with the with the me measure. Wednesday you have a meeting with them? Yes. yes. We are going to Yata. Oh. And because with men, it's not like ladies. Men, as long as they can even persevere a bit, even it's. <laughs> no, no. Men is easy. By today, six will be perfect. Good. Uh. Since it's not possible to have all the ten couples come here for the ring fitting, he gives Jackie of Samantha's Bridal the finger sizing gadget to get measurements in her next meeting with the couples. I, I was. Uh very happy that Samantha's is organizing a wedding for many couples, people who would not generally have had a chance to uh, have such a wedding. When we were approached, uh, we were informed that there was some uh, difficulty for them to, all of them to have rings. And we are happy to give them rings. If we can bring a smile to somebody's face, if we can put something on their fingers that lasts with them beyond the day of the wedding, we are happy to do so. Make a good quality uh, silver ring, fairly heavy and nice. Of course, we will engrave the names inside that will be free of charge. Totally assured of the wedding bands by Radshin Jewelers, Reverend Kamau and his team move on to check on other details of the mass wedding. Back to the Reverend, Every day marks a step closer to his dream. The faithful meet here every Sunday to worship and give thanks as they pull resources in the hope of building a permanent church in the future. This church, which falls in Reverend Kamau's parish, will host the 10 couples mass wedding. We want to do this mass wedding for the community impact. The fact, uh, because of the fact that there is an understanding that weddings are for rich people, people who work, people who are able to get loans, people who can be sponsored because of the expenditure and the costs. With the wedding day almost becoming a reality, Reverend Kamau has been taking the various couples through marriage counseling classes. Siku hizo pita tuliongea juu ya harusi ni nini? Pia tukaongea juu ya vile mtu anaweza jenga nyumba yake. Tukaongea juu ya fedha na tukaongea juu ya vile mtu anaweza kuishi vyema nyumbani. Leo tunaongea juu ya kuongea ama communication na kiingereza The couples comprise both the young and the elderly and immediately after the session we walk home with the oldest couple just to have a glimpse into their life Peter Karyuki an 80 year old and his wife for 46 years are one of the couples saying I do in the mass wedding Sasa Mungu dia alifanya akaleta watu yake akaleta ule msungaji akatuanzia kutusaidia ndio tuanze harusi The jolly octogenarian who eeks a living out of a home based Juakali blacksmith workshop makes fun of the very first time he met her while she was visiting her auntie Sasa nikaona nikajituka zuri Eh Nikaona Tusimame na bwana yangu tupate baraka ya Mungu. Tuweke kindore hapa na mimi nimweke. The couple is relying on sponsors and well-wishers for the wedding day's provisions. Tunataka nguo na pesa hakuna. Haya, tunataka ngari ya kutupeleka huko. Huko makutano sa kwanza kwa sauri wa rafiki wangu wale watanipeleka huko ndio wakanione huko. Hakuna ngari. 
haya na hakuna nguo na tunataka wakikuja hapa nyumba kwetu hapa wakuja wakule tu hata kama ni vichere hata kama ni kilo 10 hakuna sasa mimi na raku kwa mimi nafikiria lakini nikaambia Mungu eh dio mbere We also catch up with 28-year-old Veronica Wayua who has lived with her husband under the customary laws for the last 8 years. They have four children together. Kwa kweli mimi nilipo iskebo kutokana na habari tulio passionate reverend. Mimi niliona ikiwa muhimu kwa upande wangu. Maana ke muda mrefu nimekuwa nikisema tafanya harusi lakini ikawa sina ule uwezo. Their sentiments echo most of the couples here. Thus the mass wedding project is godsend to them. Lakini tukapata bahati tukatumiwa referendum ambaye alikuja na akatuambia mambo ya ya jubilee ya harusi ya ya watu wengi. Like most couples, a marriage not officiated by the church has been a major barrier in their desire to take full participation in the church's activities. Kwa kanisa panazo kazi ambazo hezi tekeleza kama mume wangu hezi tekeleza kama ajafanya arusi. While the two couples happily wait for the day in the making, Mr. Boniface Kialo, our 10th groom, is anxious. He is yet to complete the dowry to his wife's parents. Katika kabila ya wakamba, kuna, kuna, kuna mahali kwanza ina tunapeleka mbuzi, inaweza pelekwa mbuzi kumi na mbili, alafu kuna chakula chenye huanga kinapelekwa kule na kuna kuna amount kuna pesa ambazo zinahitajika kule ndipo sasa tuka mama aweze kuridhishwa kumpatia kumpeana mtoto wake aolewe ile pesa tunapata huku ni kidogo ni ya kulea watoto kuchunga familia zetu hakuna singine siko panda kutoka utotoni nilikuwa nataka kufurahia ndio nilikuwa naona watu wakifanya harusi wakitua wazazi sana nikasema nifurahie hiyo harusi ndio nikuje kuolewa kama hao wengine ile haki yake akipewa anaweza kubali the only wish is to have her mother give them the go ahead to participate in the sponsored wedding About five weeks to the wedding, Samantha's bridal team joins Reverend Kamau and other pastors in one of the counseling sessions. We are very happy to have you, Samantha, who has come to us today. And we are ready here with you, and we are going to have a long time. We are going to have a long time. We are going to have a long time. Claire of the Samantha's Wedding Members Business Academy then takes their ring sizes for Raj. Takuna mabadili kwa makubwa katika kanisa letu pande hii. Sababu wengi wetu ni wale ambao kidogo huduma ya kanisa kidogo ilikuwa eh, hatitekeleza maana kuna ile policy ya kanisa na eh, pengine tunge ilikuwa inazuia eh, utendaji wa kazi ya Mungu like any other bride to be the women here are excited and thankful to the compassionate sponsors kubwa sana na mimi nafurahia area hii yetu ita naona itainuka kiasi kubwa sana we'll just make a few adjustments on the on the straps and then also here so that uh, we have a perfect fit here at the bust yangu ni msuri imenitoshea na ninafurahi i like it the design and how it is shine and the street the brides fit well into the designs but for a few who seem to have outgrown the original measurements yangu ni mzuri lakini huko ndio ifungiki maipenda maifurahia the flower girls fit with the brides while some of the best maids try the african inspired yellow dresses 
which they'll wear on the evening of the wedding day. The dresses are donated by True Creations together with gowns and roses and Miyachi designs. A few days later, the Reverend accompanies the two brides who could not find a fitting dress to True Creations in Nairobi. <laughs> It's a challenge actually to have the sizes for the ladies that fit perfectly because we deal with the UK US sizes and uh, unfortunately most of our African bodies are not a perfect fit for some of those gowns. I'm excited to be in this project. It's good to give to the community. It's three days to the mass wedding. The rings are ready and Bagna of Ratch and Jewels hands them over to the Samantha's bridal team for delivery. It's given them labels. Mm -hmm. each, box, each box has its own name. Mm -hmm and the couple's name, yeah, and even inside the rings, mm -hmm. each ring has the, the inscription okay. written inside. Instead of the usual name-only inscriptions, they've gone an extra mile to leave a message on the silver rings. No, on this one it says Rachel Love Monga mm -hmm. and the date. Mm -hmm. And then on this one it will write Monga Loves Rachel. Rachel. I hope it brings a smile to their face every time they see the rings. Meanwhile, Jadida Weru, the marketing manager of Flame Tree Brand, is getting ready with beauty products to be used in the mass wedding project. Women, we're going to do their hair. We're going to uh, give wigs and uh, weaves. Siora, we have also, uh, we also have a division where we make hair extensions and weaves. So that's what uh, we're going to give. And also for the men, we're also going to give the shampoo to wash the hair after the cut. Corinne of Ultimate Spa and Beauty Parlor will be doing their hair. This will be perfect for the younger brides, and this week will be good for the older brides. And um, I like the fact that we have a variety of colors. Together with a few beauty experts from Unity School of Hair Design, the two then leave for Yatta. It's time to groom the couples in wait for the wedding day. My prayer for her birthday. Saturday, we came here to bless them and make them beautiful. It has been one long day. Na bibi zetu amerebeshwa hata nao pia akawa kama tushungwa. The works continue around 8 in the evening and by the end of it all we have our beautiful brides ready for the day. Such a sacrifice and of time and money and presence. Here we are now, it's late in the night and we are still struggling to make sure that everyone looks smart. Coming up on The Mass Wedding, unpaid bride price denies one of our grooms the chance to finally say I do. 
all the same, it's a jubilant celebration as the nine couples exchange their vow. Full of fun. Easy queen of Guam Zuri. That's an end of honeymoon. After more than six months of planning, it's finally the morning of the nine couples' mass wedding in the PCEA Ndalani Church in Yata District. About 6.30 p.m. in Nairobi, a bus donated by City Metro drives around picking some supplies and students of the Stamantha's Wedding Members Business Academy who will be helping with the event. Within an hour, the bus drives into the venue and the WMBA members join the decor setting right away. Inside the church, the seats are dressed in white linen and a yellow tie band to match the maids' dresses. The couples are hosted at one of the neighboring houses for convenience in the morning preparations. The nine pairs of silver wedding rings donated by Radshin Jewelers have been delivered as well. Unfortunately, Mr. Boniface Kialo, who was a part of the project in its initial stages, had to opt out. He hopes and wills to wed in the near future. But this can only be realized after clearing his debt to his in-laws. <laughs> But with the harsh economic conditions that abide here, his desire to take a full participation in the church could take a little longer than he wishes. All the same, Mr. Karyuki, the host of the couples, expresses their gratitude to the sponsors. Wale walipea na hizi pete, naona ni zawadi tumepatiwa, na zaidi ya yote tunaweza kuarudishia. Shukurani sana, sana, na mukirudi kule, the brides finally come out of the house looking fabulous in the off-white and ivory gowns with some placing a mother's guild scarf as a mark of loyalty to the Presbyterian Church women group. Every couple and their best couple will ride in separate cars. couples line up in front in readiness for the vows which are recited in unison. Kuga 
na niwe wako wa pekee hadi Mungu atakapo tutenganisha mmoja akiaga dunia Nasema kwa kweli Nasema kwa kweli kwamba wewe kwamba wewe pita msiopa <laughs> ni mme wangu ni mme wangu na nasema kwa kweli nasema kwa kweli nikiwa mbele ya Mungu nikiwa mbele ya Mungu na mbele ya watu hao walioko hapa na mbele ya watu hao walio hapa kwamba nitakupenda kwamba nitakupenda daima na niwe wako wa pekee daima na niwe wako wa pekee hadi Mungu atakapotutenganisha hadi Mungu atakapotutenganisha mmoja akiaga dunia mmoja akiaga dunia The couples then exchange the wedding bands as a seal to a new chapter in marriage. Katika jina la ila baba na la mwana na la roho mtakatifu. Amen. Wale ambao Mwenyezi Mungu amewaunganisha mwanadamu yeyote aliyeko aliye hapa ama asiye hapa asiwatenganishe. Amen. Amen. A record nine marriage certificates are signed as evidence of the occasion. Their longing and desire the groomsmen are now accepted fully into religious duties in the church je yeah, unasema kwa kweli ya kuwa utajaribu kuwafahamisha watu wote unaoshirikiana na wao neno la Mungu ili pia wao na waamini na waokolewe They now celebrate the holy communion which they could not have taken part in before. is 
beautiful arrangements of white and red carnation. Immediately, the newlyweds take the high table, the guests line up for the meal. The food is a contribution of various suppliers, while the catering is done by the Wedding Members Business Academy, Platform Events and the Hippo Restaurant. Ketepa Kenya has supplied the Maisha Pure Drinking Water, while Kenya Wine Agencies has supplied the high table with packets of Yata fruit juice. Hile pasta alikuja kutuona, akatuelezea katika kanisa, ili mtu wakue member wa kanisa, lilazima awe ya mefunga ndoa. Ndiyo heze kutumikia buwana kanisani. Halafu akatuelezea, Wengi wao wanasema hawajawahi kuwa na harusi. Hawawezi fanya harusi kwa sababu hawana hawana pesa, labda hawana hizi vitu zinahitajika kwa harusi. Sasa sisi uh, Samantha na wengineo katika hii uh, industry ya harusi tulikuja pamoja ili wawe na hii siku njema na pia kanisa ikuwe na wafuasi. The couples finally cut the cake mark the climax of the celebrations. They are given a stack each to take home, while the rest is shared among the more than 500 guests. It's been one of the most fulfilling and successful projects in the Dalani PCEA Church. We want to thank God so much for this opportunity to serve this community with a mass wedding. This journey started back in October last year. Now it's 12th of February. And we have seen God. Uh, we thank God for the planning. Samantha have run up, run up and down to help us. The sponsors giving us everything literally. And the couples who have also been committed. Indeed, you can say that we have touched the hearts of men and women in this society. We, have, we had over, over 700 members today. It's time to leave now. The bus is waiting, and as the sun goes down in Yata, nine couples will wake up to a new dawn. Thanks to Samantha's bridal, Reverend Kamal, and all the compassionate sponsors who have taken part in the mass wedding event. It enhances community development and it's a passion of mine and um, I think it was very important to come and be one with our community and to express our heartfelt, um, to share with their joy is very important as much as it is to have been here today. That, was, that is why it's very important for, for us to be here as a school. While a mass wedding could come in handy for the not so well of financially, most couples cannot resist the special feeling that comes with a normal, one bride, one groom, all eyes on me kind of celebration. And while most churches insist on holy matrimony as the only passmark to the full integration of members into religious duties, could the idea of mass weddings be the long-term solution? So what are your sentiments regarding today's show? Join the discussion on our social pages, Facebook fan page Samantha's Bridal, follow us on Twitter at sbridal underscore Kenya, or simply log on to www.samanthasbridal.co.ke. Discussions are going on now.